Lawrence Franklin Weber, A Prayer and a Promise, read by Isaac, second great-grandson. Early one evening, while living in Star Valley, Wyoming, 19-year-old Lawrence climbed onto his trusted pony and headed towards Spring Hollow to look for a heifer that was lost. The bright sun fell quickly into a colorful sunset, and with his pleasant thoughts to keep him company, contentment and peace washed over him. After riding for about a mile, he could see the lost cow in the distance, then realizing it would be dark soon, Lawrence urged his pony to go faster and quickly sped through the field. Unfortunately, the dim light blinded his view of a newly installed barbed wire fence, and he galloped right into it as if it wasn't there. Down he went with a jolt and a thud. Dazed at what had just happened, he tried to get up. His leg had no strength, and with a sharp pain, he collapsed. Lawrence looked towards the discomfort and was shocked to see that his ankle had been severely cut by the points on the wire, and he was bleeding fast from an open artery. Lying there all alone, Lawrence knew that he was in trouble. Through the pain and shock, he heard his mother's voice in his mind saying, You are never alone. The Lord is always there. Pleading, Lawrence uttered a simple prayer. Heavenly Father, if thou will heal my ankle, so I won't die, I will serve thee for the rest of my life. His fear immediately vanished, and the blood coming from his injured leg disappeared also. And as Lawrence lay there witnessing a miracle, he gave another prayer, this time of gratitude. Back at home, when darkness came and Lawrence hadn't returned, his older brother Fred, sensing that something was wrong, set out to find him. What a relief to see Fred come into view. The two brothers carefully traveled back home and sent for the doctor. The doctor couldn't believe what he saw. He said that Lawrence should have died from such a serious injury. But through his humble prayer, this faithful young man had survived.